All right, team fight manager, let's get into it. This game reminds me a lot of League, so I really wanted to get into it. Gaining huge popularity. N20XX Team Fight Arena became a worldwide sensation, gaining huge popularity following its release. The game was also a sensation in pro sports. At an age of 18, I debuted as a pro gamer of this game. That's crazy. During my 10 years career as a pro gamer, I haven't lost the world champion title once. That's insane. <laughs> After retiring from pro gaming, I coached professional teams for another 10 years. Still, I've never lost a world championship title. It's amazing to see the numerous trophies I've earned throughout my pro gaming and coaching career. But am I really a genius? What if it was all just luck? Good luck colleagues were just a favorable, favorable environment. I wanted a new challenge. I'll train the lowest ranked amateur team and help them win the world championship. Then I'll feel satisfied. And the team I'll be in charge of is... What should the name of our team be? An icon. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Um... We might have to rock with this pizza icon, to be honest. This was your Rockstar game logo, that's funny. WB, it's like 100 Thieves, TSM, TikTok, <laughs> direct messaging. I think it's G2, Team Solo Mid, uh, I think it's Immortals, Cloud9. Uh, you know, let's rock with the pizza logo. You rock it with the pizza logo. All right, we'll be. Hmm. We'll be Papa John's. Team Papa John's. Because Papa John's pizza slap. And if you don't know me, I'm Kalua. That's my gaming channel. And some Sasuke hair. <laughs> uh, what else we got on here? Yo, what is this? What is this? Why aren't there more hair choices? That's the real question. Uh, you know, we'll go with the red hair. Kalua holds the record for most wins since shockwaves throughout the world by being appointed the amateur league Papa John <laughs> team's coach. Kalua made a promise to lead the team to victory in the world championship. We look forward to seeing how he does. You can enhance the player's stats through training. There are training points that can be allocated to each player. You can train the players by investing the points on stats you want to improve. The more training points you allocate to certain stats, the faster the corresponding stats improve. Training takes place automatically over time based on the points you allocated. Starting from this week, you can freely recruit players until week two of February. Uh, okay, so message box, regular schedule, champion information, and then options. Okay. I always save anyway, just in case, but look at the amateur league. I haven't started playing yet. Now, who are our people? Miko, Oval Mal, Rainy Hour, SBS, and they all have different champions. We'll rock with. I don't know, can we take everybody? I don't know how this works specifically, but. I'll come back to that. Oops. Is our squad. We can have two teams. They have a renewal feed, the condition, age, attack, defense, and then I guess their mastery or whatever that champion is. Um, I don't feel like changing names right now, but let's do this. I feel like it'd be good to have more champions. So let's just put all this here. More champions, you know. Gives better cho chances or choices in team fights. But I don't even have enough to recruit these people for the next season. That's crazy. Uh, what else should I do? 
Um, hit save. We have a ranking list. Team statistics. Dry. That's just all they call dry. DG gaming. All right, schedule. We have a recruitment period, practice match, recruitment period, recruitment period. Oh, and then we actually have a league board as well. Okay. So we play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, these are just different rounds. I'm guessing that this is like mid season. And I take a vacation? What? Alright. Uh, I think that's what I just read. Alright. Hey, 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 hey. Recruiting is the easiest way to increase team's capabilities. It allows you to search for players that can immediately contribute to the team, rising stars with a bright future, etc. It's difficult to get good results without recruiting players appropriately. If you haven't tried recruiting yet, try it out to strengthen your team. All right. So in teams capability, after being appointed as the coaches to play a match, choose an appropriate team before the season starts and request the team for a practice match. It will be the first step you need to take to have a successful season. All right, who should we go up against? Yeah, we're going up against the weakest. I'm sorry, because I don't know what we're going up against yet. <laughs> you have requested a practice match with the team statistics team. All right. Does that mean we play them today? Oh, we do play them today. Okay. All right, we're out. We're out. Steam to, I said steam. Team statistics versus Papa John's. Battle of one. Let me one round. Oh, I just realized we only have four seats. A match consists of several seats. Teams will switch between the red and blue side to play each set. Each set content. Consists of four steps, selecting players, ban and pick of champions, champion swapping, and finally the match itself. Okay. So I'm going to select your players in a step. You can choose players on your team who participate in the corresponding set. Okay. This guy has really high attack. Both of them are even. He has really high defense. All these are the participating players. Okay. Uh, I can switch these. Uh, hmm. Let's go with this. Oh, no, 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 let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. And... Nah, nah, we'll run with this, we'll run with this, we'll run with this. Why is it only two, though? It shouldn't be four. Blue team is failing. After choosing the players, proceed to the ban and pick of champions. In this step, there's a banning and picking stage. The banning stage allows you to select a champion you want to ban for the corresponding set. The picking stage allows you to select champions you want to use for the corresponding set, apart from the champions that have been banned. Okay. Blue team is picking champion. Oh, that's them. It's your turn to ban a champion. Refer to the champion mastery and player stats to select the champion you want to ban. So I'm guessing that these are the masteries. At least that's like how good they are with the champion or something. Um, so I feel like I should pick somebody that I'd be good with. It looks like both of them want to use this chick, so I don't know if I should ban her or not. Okay. It's your turn to pick the champion you will use. Refer to the champion mastery and player stats to pick the champion you want to use. Uh, well, I can't use that guy. <laughs> and I can't use this guy. Oh, my God. Um, so, should I rock with... Uh, I guess I'm going to go with... Neither of them using Archer, so... Let's, do, let's pick it up anyway. And then a fighter. Uh, I'm guessing this is a healer. Oh, their stats are below. I wasn't even looking at the stats. That's crazy. Uh, kicks an enemy with great strength. <laughs> this is Lee Sin. This is basically Lee Sin. 
Use an attack that reduces the enemy's defense. Swift movement, straight line, slashes all enemies in that path. Mm. This guy's a small cooldown for a high attack, bruh. Uh, I feel like anybody with a like really small cooldown would be good, especially if you have good attack. But he has no defense. He has no defense. It's so range and speed, I guess. I don't really even know. Oh, let's run for some of that. All right, we're gonna pick this. Next to champion swapping, each player has a different level of champion mastery, so arrange champions in a way that will allow each player to bring out champions' full potential. Alright. Okay, so his stats are boosted because of this. Plus three and plus three. Alright, we should win this then. This should be a dub. Now the match will proceed. The match will be played out for one minute with the champions that have been picked, and the team that gets the most kills win. Alright. Let's get to it. Ah! Bruh, he's getting melted. He's getting melted. Bro, I'm getting bodied. What is this? Come on. There we go. Get some damage. Get some damage. Get some damage. There we go. Mao, no. This dude is basically Lee Sin. This guy basically is Lee Sin. Oh, no. Oh, what? He can multiply himself? What was that? Guys, it's not looking good. No, Lisa and Sabadian. So we got a Kali. We got we got um Ash. We got Lisa and I'm just gonna call I'm just gonna call the other guy Yasuo. Cause it's all Yasuo mains do anyway. But we're getting destroyed. This dude is bodying us. Come on. All right, Papa John's. You can now use the equipment. You can acquire them by crafting them or by meeting certain conditions. And once you equip them, the equipment effect will be applied to all players in the team. If you acquire the hoodie equipment, check out it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So now we got more champions. Yeah, we're. Let's get this. Okay. What does it give me? Plus one attack. Hmm. Oh, there's ones that boost champion mastery as well. I guess it could be good if you're like later in the season, you know champion's gonna be good or not. Or bad or not. Uh oh, his attack went up. Oh, because of the stat. Oh Okay, so i let's get one more champion. I feel like because it's our first season, we should keep all of them. Because I know we can do this recruiting thing. We can do this thing. Find players in the local area with outstanding skills. They possess skills of highly ranked players in the amateur league. I'm guessing it's two days and then 10 gold. That ain't worth it. Promising futures. More time, but a lot more gold. Semi pro skills. Skills of highly ranked players in the semi pro league and have high growth potential. Find well known players with a strong career background. Division one of the pro league, but have low growth potential. They possess skills of a mid ranked players in the pro league division two and have incredible growth potential. All right, well, we're gonna stick with what we got. All right, so what we got next on the schedule? One, two, three, four. So we got four more days of recruitment period. Let's do it once, because I just wanna see what it's like. Search, all right, two days. Um, ranking list. There's our schedule. Can't believe what we lost. Um, okay, so I wanted to look at this. So we have warriors. This fighter is a tent that specializes in distracting the opponent's side and crowd control. If there is a champion in the opponent team that uses difficult skill, uses the fighter to drastically alter the outcome of the match. Now, what does it mean by difficult skill? Speed seven. The champion looks broken. The knight is a tank that specializes in taunting opponents and absorbing their attacks. Although he has an outstanding skill that keeps the opponent's assassin in check, he has low mobility and attacking abilities. 
so he's I'm so I'm guessing the knight is good against um what do they call it uh assassins 200 HP 60 defense the monk is a healer with an advanced tank abilities teaming him with the champion that has an ultimate which grants an AOE protective shield may work so I'm guessing AOE protective shield what does that mean so I'm guessing the knight and the monk could be good together this champion seems broken as well he, this man got this close to the same health and defense as the tank and he's a healer hello with this with a slow cooldown I wonder what this means about fixed amount. He's moving speed and all the surroundings in the surrounding area. Hmm, that could be pretty good. Only five more attack. I mean, that could be broken. Attack speed slow. Bro, this champion is broken. The ninja is an assassin that instantaneously approaches the opponent and powerfully hits them. He has exceptional mobility, but there may be situations where he dashes into the middle of the enemy's side. It's advised to pair him with a champion that can assist him in steadily attacking the opponents. So I'm guessing another one, like another assassin, teleports to an enemy attacks, causing a bleeding effect. Summons an alter ego that continuously consumes HP. From who? From him? Hmm. Yo, the priestess has high attack. Hello. The priestess does not have an attack skills. What? <laughs> She's a healer that can greatly heal an individual target. They thus you must pair the priestess with the champion that has a powerful attack skill. Priestess is extremely vulnerable to assassins. Oh, so she's not good to have out against assassins, I'm guessing. But the assassins seem OP? Cast a shield on an ally that increases attack speed. Okay. Rancer is a mage that specializes in AoE attacks. She's strong when she strikes a fixed area, but she becomes vulnerable when she's in a 1v1 situation or when she fights with a champion with long range attacks. What's her range? 100? Okay. It seems pretty far. Swords may use powerful melee attacks. Attacks with a skill that reduces the opponent's defense. It's effective against tanks and works well with, with a healer. When fighting against the swordsman, it's advised to use a champion who can block the swordsman's attack. So he's good with the healer. Um, yeah, I don't really know what she's good with yet. Should we give someone with a really high attack like him? But his attack is 15. How does he have a high attack? Oh, it reduces the enemy's defense. That's crazy. Okay. Is a healer with attack power? She might be a good pick if you need a certain level of recovery and attack at the same time. And I wonder what kind of situation that would be in, though. Just an attack. But who can block his attack? That's the real question. Specializes range attacks that continuously hit the opponent while maintaining distance. Assassins aren't very effective against her as she has high HP and a specialized. aren't very effective against her. See, that allows her to keep her distance from an opponent when fighting against the archer. It's advised to use powerful tank that can negate her attacks. Oh, that's probably where I messed up at. The fighter is a tank that specializes in distracting the opponents. Oh, I've already seen it. Alright, let's get to it. I love to kind of know what they're playing with. Next day, week. Oh, it's week four. Now you can use the combination test function if you use the function. You can simulate the relationship between certain combinations without having to put. Oh, okay. Okay. So I want to see what this does. I want to see this and then this against supposed assassins. Oh, he's a warrior. He's not an assassin. This might be trash, but uh, that's how much they're gaining as well. So this could be a good pick against this. This seems pretty strong. Okay. All right, we're gonna move on to the next day because there's only there's so much we can do. Player, but uh, okay. I'm pretty sure they all leveled up. Not leveled up, but as long as candidates for the sponsorship contract, please decide the sponsor you want to sign the contract with. So it wins. Okay.
Okay, because I don't really know what's going to happen. We're sound way calm. We can at least get a one streak of two. I know that. There's a long list of candidates for sponsorship contract. Please say. Okay. Um, it's in progress. We got to achieve that. Recruitment. No fail. Bro, what is this attack? Reduces all stats by 10 if the players... The players participate in the match from the start. Increases all stats by 10 if the players participate as substitutes. Reduces all stats by 10 if the player participates. So it'd be oh, so it'd be like a good like add-on for later. Uh, nah, let's not do that. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. The only reason why is because I feel like that'd be really bad. Especially with the healer. The healer doesn't seem that good right now. And not, I mean, I guess it could be like a last minute pitch thing, which makes sense, but. Okay, so we got the monk now. I got a couple characters that could be decent, I guess, for later on, but. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here. Let's do one here, one here. One here, one here. Uh, I mean, two here, one here. Two here, one here. And then, how many days do we have? Okay, two more days. Or one more day, I mean. Alright. The player recruitment period will end this week. You cannot recruit new players until the next recruitment period starts. Okay, that's fine. Was I trying to recruit somebody? Okay, I had one, I have one more day. Well, I guess I can't add them now, but... Okay, it doesn't like we can do much. Can I, can I do any tests? I can't do any tests. Let's try. I want to try this guy out with. Hmm. Let's try him out with. Let's try her. And then let's try this. Oh, they're bodying. I'm saying it looks like he gets a lot of defense, but. Okay, they still put in work. This seems just seems god tier. Alright, on to our first game. Young Papa John's coming in for the dub. You need to submit the roster of players who will participate in the first half of the league. At least two players must be registered, a maximum of three players can be registered. Players that do not that have not been registered on the roster cannot participate in the match. What? So we gotta pick who we want. Okay, I'm keeping Level mile. Let's keep. Uh, let's get rid of SBS. Let's add ring hour. Let's submit this list. And then who do we get? Sword art. Ooh. This mediocre and does not have any stats. Can I recruit him though? Oh, because of the period. Uh, all right. And you know what? Because of this, because I know he's not going to be here. I kind of want to get rid of him, to be honest. Yeah, we're going to get rid of him. Save some money. Keep these three just in case. Papa John's. I are about to catch our first dub of the season. Now, am I going to take all three? Yeah, boost this up. Boost this up. We're going to win. We're going to get our first dub. How are they number six already? Shouldn't everybody be number one? Uh, okay, the priestess. This guy. This guy, Lee Sin. Healer. And then the ninja. Be good to take. Let's switch up Miko. Let's put in Rain Hour. And then I guess there's a little bit more options on the table. Papa John's versus Sandbox Gaming. Or Sans sorry, Sandbox Gaming. Alright, they're banning first. The monk. I'm guessing this is a good pick to have. I'm not banning the priestess because she doesn't look that good. Unless she'd be good with she'd be good with the swordsman of the night. 
who would be a really good strong pick to have? Well, they're getting first pick, so. Let's do Swordsman. Let's ban Swordsman. Ban him right out the bat. Ninja. Okay, I remember that Archer was good against Assassins, so let's pick up Archer. They picked up the Fighter. And we will pick up the Knight. I guess both of my players something to use as well. I wonder if I'll switch them. Okay, they don't get the boost. This is the boost they get right here. Plus four attack, plus four defense, plus three attack, plus three defense, which is good. Oh, and that's okay, it's added because of the mastery. Or the number style in the mastery. Alright, hopefully we should win this. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Oh no. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, what is this? There we go, there we go. We take those, we take those. Oh god. Oh god, Lee Sin. Lee Sin? Guys, it's not looking too good. Oh my god. That was that was an Ash W right there. God dang. Come on, tank. Come on, tank. There we go. Come on, Ash. Come on, Ash. Come on, Ash. This man just dashes. Look how much damage I take from that. There we go. Come back. We can get the comeback. We can get the comeback. Come on. Tie it up. Tie it up. Tie it up. Oh, we might lose. We're gonna lose, bro. This man one shots my. What's the point of having him on the field? Okay, that dude's broken. All right, that's a that's a one zero for them. That's a one zero. Players are waiting to hear the coach's feedback on set one match. What should you say? Hmm. All right, let's let them know. It's it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Let's focus on the next match. Let's keep that in mind. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I got it, y'all. Alright, I'm gonna leave it on the field because I still don't want to use them. Especially if they keep banning this guy. This piece is doing so. Sorry, Mako. Alright, round two. Round two, round two, round two. And we get to ban this time. Hmm. Let's ban. Let's ban the monk because he just seems OP. Everyone keeps banning him. The knight. I'm gonna pick up the swordsman. I'm gonna pick up the ninja. Okay, obviously, I can't play anybody back. That's gonna be. So let's let's pick up the fighter. Let's pick up the fighter. The pyromancer. Okay, hopefully we should win this round. Okay, yeah, we doing some damage. Oh, let's go. Put him there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, Lee Sin. Come on, Lee Sin with the kick. That, that was like an AoE circle, I'm thinking. Oh, bro, that damage. Oh, no, she ultied. Come on, Lee Sin. Okay, Lee Sin with the kill before he died. Oh, my God. There we go, bro. We are bodying. Arsal. We got to body Arsal, body. There we go. Stay on him, stay on him level. Bro, we are destroying. Oh, this might be the combo. This might be the combo right here. Bro, it doesn't even matter. We already won. They gotta get seven kills in the next eight seconds, which ain't gonna happen. Oh, it's a GG. GG in the chat. 16 to 8. 17 to 8. Oh my god, Papa John's. Hmm, bro, you know what? I'm gonna tell him. Excellent performance, bro. I knew we could come back. Yo, no, I will. Let's go. I do too, bro. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna keep the same team. Make us just gonna sit up for this whole game. But it's round three. This could be our first dub. This could be our first, first dub. Who are they gonna ban? Are they gonna ban the ninja? So, I could play someone that's gonna be in the back line. If I really wanted to. The real question is if they pick this dude up, how good would it be for them though? I feel like I should ban him anyway. Yeah, we'll ban him anyway. He just seems OP. 
They get the archer. Hmm. Who should we build? Let's see, we could have benefited from him. Should we pick up the knight? I feel like we should pick up the knight. But everyone keeps running this guy. Forget it, we'll pick up the monk. We'll see what happens. They're gonna pick up the fighter. Okay, that's fine. We'll pick up the knight. We'll pick up the knight. We'll make it work. Let's just run around. Okay. Our shots are looking good. Let's get it. Round three. Alright, we're not doing too good right now. Oh, we're taking some damage. Lisa into my healer. There we go. Let's go. Come on. Tank up, tank up, tank up. Oh, I might be screwed, guys. We haven't got a single kill on the freaking DPS. Come on, my healer. There we go with the t with the shield. The shield and heals. Is he gonna 1v1? 1v1? No! Okay, we take those, we take those. Oh no. Come on. We're not winning. There we go, we take those. AoE shield from the tank. Alright, we're looking good, we're looking good. We can maybe come back, we can maybe come back. We gotta get the skill, we gotta get the skill, get the skill, get the skill, get the skill. No, don't fight him, turn around, fight him! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go! Let's go! Papa John's with their first dub. 2-1. It was close though, it was really close. Ooh, and they have a leaderboard change, what? So Dry beat Team Statistics. Now Map Gaming beat Team ME and GG Gaming beat L1. And then we cut our first dub as well. Let's go. Which champions are being used for doing the competition currently take place? What? They even have a leader for Mizzo? Okay, so Monk is definitely a top tier pick. Fighter's definitely a top tier pick. Swordsman, then Knight, Ninja, Archer. They even have damage dealt, damage taken, recovery, KDA, bit. Plus, right? Like, this man was banned seven times. Broken. Alright, we're rocking with what we got. So, training, right? I'm guessing I just leave this on. Just let it run. Yeah, we'll, we'll boost the stats. We'll boost the stats. Alright, save. Can I commentate? Yes, I can. Let's try. I want to try this. No, 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 no. Let's no. Let's try this. And let's try. How broken is this? Oh, not even close. Ninja, a god. Look at his attack, though. I mean, it was close, but... Alright. On to round two. I wish you could change the character's clothes, like the other character's clothes. It'd be amazing. Looks like Papa John's is gonna win. Yes, we are. Alright, we're gonna start with... We're gonna keep these two the exact same, though. Because I feel like this wouldn't be beneficial. With this healer. And then we have this knight option. That could be good. We'll, we'll run it. We'll run it. We'll run it. This man's name is God. What? Alright, we're banning first. Let's go with... Let's go with... Hmm. Who do they benefit from? Not really anyone. Let's go with Ninja. We'll ban Ninja. Ninja we know destroys the back line. Priestess, okay. And they banned her because I picked somebody. She must be OP. Or, in, I mean, in that situation. And we get first pick. You know we're going to have to go with this man. His man broken. The fighter. Hmm. If that's the case, let's go with Monk. Let's go with Monk. And they pick up Knight. Okay, so it's going to be definitely be a hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat match. Alright. Let's get it. No mouth against God. 
Ooh, give us that. What is going on? Oh, no, no, we're winning this. There we go with the heals, bro. This man's healing ability is insane. Was it, what was the cooldown again? It was like three seconds. Oh my god, it's like 3.8 seconds or something like that. Oh no, oh my god. Oh, please. Come and clutch, come and clutch. Oh, they hit it, they hit a shield ability. Oh, we hit a shield ability. We bring it back. There we go. We're putting in work. We're putting in work. With the comeback. With the comeback. Oh, seven seconds left. Come on. Let's get it. It's a dub. It's a dub. It's a dub. Papa John's out here. Let's tell the boys they did good. They did good. Hey, we're better than them. Let's keep it up, boys. And girl. What well, if we do as we're told? That's what I'm saying. I think we were just lucky to win this match. What? What is this man so upset about? Hey, listen. I'll kick you off the team. I'll manage your status. Don't forget. All right. So blue teams. L1 are picking. They banned the fighter. Now, who's getting... Who's good? Like, if you ban the fighter, who would be the person you'd pick up next? Hmm... Now, if I ban Ninja and they pick up Swordsman, what would I do? Like, how beneficial would it be for me? Because he can reduce defense. I don't... Man, but they could pick up Ninja and then I'd be screwed. Because if I pick a backline champion... Alright, we're banning Ninja. Oh man, they need to pick up the swordsman. All right, fine. We'll pick up. The, we'll take the monk. We'll take the monk. We pick up the shrine maiden. Okay, the monk can heal. Swordsman can lower defense, so it'd be good to take two to people that can use defense. No, she can heal and boost his attack. Movement speed. Warrior slow, I'd say that's the only thing. All right, we're going with the knight. We'll see how it works. Round one. I'm sorry, round two. There we go, good defense, good defense. Where's that boost, where's that boost? Oh, he's getting boosted though. No. No. What is that? What is this? Oh, that defense. There we go. Pull her, pull her. Catch her out, catch her out. Oh, no. There we go. Let's go. All right, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. What is that clapping noise? No, attack the healer. What are you doing? Attack the healer. If he ulties on me, I'm done. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Round two. Two wins with the dub. This man was hitting 1030 attack. That's insane with the lowering defense ability. And he, had, he has about the same defense as us. What? Well, I mean, not rain, but like, come on, bro. What? What? All right, we move up to the first spot, and that's going to be it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. I'm out.